Hi there students. In this video I wanted to look at two words, quiddity and hexicity. Hexicity. Okay, these are two fairly complex things. Um, let's see, Qui uh, the quiddity of something is the characteristics that make it of the type that it is. So, I don't know, the quiddities that make up um, a man, or the quiddities that make up a human, the um, characteristics, yeah, the characteristics that go towards um, making something a member of a group. So, let's see, what are the quiddities of a tree? Well, it's got leaves, and a tree has a trunk, and uh, it's got bark on the outside, and it's green, and it's uh, got um, chlorophyll to make it grow. Okay, so these are quiddities. These are the characteristics that say that something belongs to a particular group, the essence of the thing that make it exactly what it is. Um, then we've got this word, um, hexicity, and this goes even further and says, what is it that makes this um, the item that it is? What is, is it that makes it unique? So, let's see, I was thinking about twins in this. Identical twins. Um, if you've ever no known uh, identical twins, then there are lots of quid quiddities, things that they have in common, characteristics that make them that pair of twins, or maybe more than just a pair. And then the haxicities are the little details that, if you're really careful and look very hard and try and notice, that differentiate one from another. So maybe one's got a mole on its head, or um, the, uh, the, the shape of something, of some part of their body is slightly different. And these are hexicities, the, the things that make this one individual and unique. So both of these are talking about the real nature or the essence of something. Yeah, the quiddity. So the, um, the essential the essential things that make something what it is, what me, uh, may make it uh, as it is. And then the hexicity, the characteristics that make it the individual one of these that it is. They also use this word quiddity to talk about a very, very small distinction, a trifling distinction between two things. Yeah, when you're splitting hairs, you are um, tr trying to show different uh, quiddities, yeah, or the, the different quiddities. You are arguing quiddities, um, tiny, tiny little details, um, which they're probably not very uh, relevant, yeah? You're quibbling over it, over something that is absolutely trifling. Okay, so the quiddity, the characteristics that make something what it is. Yeah, what are the quiddities of being British? It could be very difficult. And then the hexicity, the characteristics that make this one a unique example. Okay, both of these words belong to the field of um, philosophy. Um, I think I would give, let's see, quiddity, I think I'd give it a 6.5, maybe a 7 in formality, using the semi-formal conversation, semi-formal or formal writing. And the hexicity, I think I would probably give a 7 in formality, using the semi-formal or formal writing. Um, let's see, uh, quiddity comes from Latin, uh, from quid itas, the Latin word uh, quid, which means uh, what? 
yeah what is this yeah so how what what is this thing and then hexicity um, comes from uh, Latin again but it, it's got this word hick meaning this the thisness this one what makes it this this specific one what makes it unique so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon bye for now hexicity and quiddity